Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to generate random data um, for your JavaScript using uh, the JavaScript library Chance.js. So I stumbled across this library a little while ago, um, but I find it very useful for generating things like, of course, uh, random data. Uh, but the use of that data can be uh, can be things like uh, for uh, for testing purposes or just generating uh, sample data for your websites or things like that. So it's very useful. Useful, um, and it comes with quite a few features and a lot of random data to generate um, so I'll just cover how to actually use it and it's also well supported so it works in the command line uh, with node uh, node.js and also of course in the browser so um, I'll just firstly just want to uh, demonstrate how you can use um, the library uh, with node.js so um, if you're using node.js just simply of course uh, go into your directory um, where you have uh, your your project and then once you have uh, the uh, the node.js project uh, created or initialized um, to install it um, of course as expected it's quite easy you simply just say npm install and then chance so once you um, once you've finished installing uh, the uh, chance library um, to use it it's very straightforward uh, you simply just include it in your script so uh, you would simply say something like const chance is equal to require and then pass in here chance okay so uh, what you're actually doing here is uh, you're providing uh, the constructor or um, you're requiring your uh, you're requiring um, the constructor of the chance uh, object right here and that is why I'm using a capital C so to actually use the library you would then say something like const and then chance object is equal to and then you say new and then call that constructor just like that so now your chance object is the one that you interact with when you want to do your uh, random data now before I get into how to use it on the browser um, I do want to demonstrate its usage and how to actually use it so um, for example if I want to generate some random data about a person um, I can do this quite straightforward uh, or uh, quite easily so let me just define a new uh, function here I'm going to call this function uh, generate person well it's an anonymous function but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm assigning this to the constant generate person um, and uh, this function is going to look like this okay so in this function it's simply going to return a new object with a few properties for example let's just say name equal to chance object dot name now obviously uh, I'm using um, a global constant inside this function which uh, maybe isn't the best practice given that it is not actually one of our libraries which we are uh, requiring um, but in this case it's a small script so including this or using it directly inside the function uh, should be perfectly fine so as you can see here I'm calling the dot name function so in chance.js um, a lot of the um, or um, all of the ways that you generate your random data is done through method calls so for example if I want to say age now I can say chance object dot age and as you can see right here there's all these different functions to choose from um, uh, or methods to choose from uh, to generate random data for so as you can see here if I was to say age it is very simple to generate a random age so this right here is going to return me a random age and same goes for the name let's move on to something like our country for example I'm going to say chance object dot country just like this and for profession it's going to work in a very similar way chance object dot profession okay so quite straightforward here um, I'll just also put a semicolon right here after the return object and now of course to generate that person I can say const uh, let's just say dom is equal to uh, generate person just like this so now if I was to console dot log dom save this and then run that node script so node index JS and press enter we can see of course here we get a random person Russell Barnett age 55 country I'm not too sure what this country is to be honest um, and profession construction engineer so as you can see that's the basic usage but also a lot of these uh, methods allow you to pass in different options so for example if I was to go to documentation for um, for the country method we can see here it supports a property called full and you can set that to be true so now you're going to get the full version of the country instead of just this ni so now I'm going to go inside here I'm going to say uh, what's it called um, full so I can say full and make this true 
So now saving this and running it again, we can see now we get the full country as the uh, um, as the country property. So um, there you go. A lot of these methods have their own options in which you can pass in to customize the output. So I just want to show you one more uh, one more thing or uh, a, um, a technique to generate a bunch of random data at once. So I think this right here, what I'm going to show you, is going to be especially useful for generating sample data or test data. So what if I want to, um, what if I want to generate, let's just say, 1,000 people just like this? Well, obviously, because I've got this function here, um, you know, uh, separated as a function is going to make it a lot easier to generate that data. So with that being said, let's go down here and make a new constant called people. And this right here is going to be an array of 1000 random people. For this to work, I'm going to say array dot from. Then inside here, I'm going to say um, as a first uh, as a first argument, I'm going to pass in an object. I'm going to say length is equal to 1000. So this right here is going to make it so I have an array of 1000 items. And along with that, as a second argument, I'm going to pass in a function. So for this function, I'm going to pass in generate person. So now essentially. We're going to have this generate person function run 1000 times to generate a, um, an array of 1000 random people. So now if I was to say console.log people just like this, save this and then run this script uh, as we may expect. Of course we can see right here we get uh, in the console anyway we get uh, 100 people with 900 more items just below. But as you can see here, we have 1000 completely random people generated for us automatically um, using this technique right here. So obviously, uh, this, uh, sorry, uh, this technique is not exclusive to uh, generating random data. However, it can, def uh, it can definitely be used to do so. But that's the basic usage of the Chance.js library. I think typically a library like this is going to be used on the Node.js side or you know um, um, as a um, as a script instead of like in the web browser but if you do want to run this in the web browser then you can do so quite easily um, the usage looks like this this is taken of course from the documentation you simply just include the script chance JS inside um, inside your HTML file then of course down here you simply say chance and then your function so um, in the web based version you don't need to make a new instance like you did here this is basically done for you Okay, um, so that right there is how to use the chance uh, library to generate uh, random data um, in JavaScript. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later.